Bhagavad Gita as it is Chapter 5 Karma Yoga Action in Krishna Consciousness Arjuna said, O oh, Krishna, first of all, you asked me to renounce work, and then again, you recommend work with devotion. Now will you kindly tell me, definitely, which of the two is more beneficial. A person in the divine consciousness, although engaged in seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, eating, moving about, sleeping, and breathing, always knows within himself that he actually does nothing at all. Because while speaking, evacuating, receiving, or opening, or closing his eyes, he always knows that only the material senses are engaged with their objects and that he is aloof from them. When the embodied living being controls his nature and mentally renounces all actions. He resides happily in the city of nine gates, the material body, neither working nor causing work to be done. The embodied spirit, master, of the city of his body does not create activities, nor does he induce people to act, nor does he create the fruits of action. All this is enacted by the modes of material nature. When, however, one is enlightened with the knowledge by which nescience is destroyed, then his knowledge reveals everything as the sun lights up everything in the daytime. Those whose minds are established in sameness and equanimity have already conquered the conditions of birth and death. They are flawless like Brahman and thus they are already situated in Brahman. A person who neither rejoices 
upon achieving something pleasant, nor laments upon obtaining something unpleasant. Who is self-intelligent? Who is unbewildered? And who knows the science of God? is already situated in transcendence. An intelligent person does not take part in the sources of misery which are due to contact with the material senses, O son, of Punti. Such pleasures have a beginning and an end, and so the wise man does not delight in them. Thus ends Chapter 5 Karma Yoga action in Krishna consciousness. Bhagavad Gita as it is. Tat, sat, sat.